loaded with a cargo of wealthy sportsmen. A great clipper plane heads seaward from Miami, bound for the fisherman's paradise of the South Atlantic. Fishermen prepare their weapons for the deep sea war. For 50 miles offshore lies the tiny island of Cat Cay, a subtropical isle devoted exclusively to fishing. It is the retreat of millionaire sportsmen from every corner of the earth. Over the island flies the flag of the empire, upon which the sun never sets. The very atmosphere of Cat Cay suggests leisure, and its cool white bungalows reflect the ease and luxury of tropic living. Unhurried Negro servants carry the white man's burden of breakfast in bed. No angry squawking horns disturb the quiet of this peaceful land where motor cars are forbidden and there are no commuters trains to catch. At Cat Cay's Palm Fringe Beach, a fish fence protects the swimmer from attacks of deadly sharks and barracuda. But here also, the visitor pursues a life of careless ease. While fishing at Keith Range offers diversion for marksmen to bang away at clay pigeons. But time to put out to the fishing grounds, for all is ship-shape about tingling with the subdued excitement that precedes a fight with a worthy adversary. They'll need all their strength and skill to battle the opponent. A mackerel sewn to the hook is the lure that is designed to entice the wily game fish. Preparing the lure and the line demand exacting care. For upon these preliminaries depends the success of hooking the fish after it strikes. The lines are attached to wooden snap pins that will support trolling, but which will release under the weight and pull of a mighty fighter. Arranged on outrigger, two lines may be trolled without fouling. These derrick-like arms are used to land fish but they permit the lines to be dragged wide and free of the boat's weight. And he takes it, a strike. Now he starts his charge. The fisherman jerks up on the rod to set the hook in the fish. Taking the line out, the fish leaps and lunges, fighting to shake loose that stabbing hook. under the flailing fury of the battling fish while the reel screams as the line plays out. The fisherman fights to keep the hook set, depending on his own weight and skill plus the pull of the boat to tire his adversary. But the fish puts up a scrap to the very end a stout battler and a game opponent. While only half the marlin sighted strike, just about half those that strike are hooked and then half get away. So it's the fisherman's supreme thrill as he pulls it over the side and a proud fighter loses a battle of life and death. Birds circle as the lure is thrown. The diving gannets are nuisances and pests to the fishermen as they swoop and dive to steal the bait. There's a pin and tail. Another strike, but the fisherman loses him. The fish, blind with fury, leaps and plunges. Here lies danger, for when a flailing marlin lands in a man's lap, the peril of being hacked to death by the slapping sword lands with it. But this one's free, and in a towering rage, hurtles toward the open sea. With the hook baited again, the fisherman hopes for better luck as he wonders whether to tell the boys about the one that got away. Watch your line, watch your line. Marley, Marley. Marley. Another strike, 
and the line streams out. He's putting up a terrific battle, taking the line with all his speed and power. He's plenty hard to play as he charges away, and the fisherman dons his harness to hold a fish that seems to be made of steel strings. Water is poured on the reel to cool the line and bearing. Marlin have been clocked at a hundred miles an hour as they take the line out. line must be kept taut. For the minute he's given slack, Mr. Marlin shakes the hook free and leaps to freedom. This mighty battler is being reeled in as he tires. There, he still has one last battle left in him. Here's one he can tell the boys about and be proud of. A fish that fought nobly right down to the last round. A gallant blue marlin is brought to gas. It's the happy hunting ground with game aplenty where each warrior of the deep sea fishing tribe wants to spend eternity. It's Fisherman's Paradise.